What is Group Policy and why is it important? Group Policy is a Windows Pro, Ultimate and Enterprise feature that allows users to control a number of settings on a computer. Group Policy is used extensively in domain environments. These settings can be user, computer, or a combination of both. But incorrect configuration of some group policy objects or GPOs can lead to various problems, even locking you out of your computer. As an example, in Windows 10 and Server 2019, there are more than 5,000 settings that you can configure with GPOs. First thing to do to see if you're having a problem or where the problem might be would be to simply get the results of what policies are enabled on your computer. And to do that, you would need to bring up a command prompt. Ideally, anything to do with the system, you want to run it and administrate a command prompt. So click on start and start typing command. When you see command prompt pop up in the list, right click on it and select run as administrator. Once that pops up on your screen, this is the command that you want to type. GP result space forward slash H space and then that's the path where I want the file to go. In this case, I'm just putting it onto the desktop and the file is going to be named gp-report.html. When I hit enter, you'll see on my desktop, it'll create that particular file. If we double click on it to open it, it opens up in your default web browser and you can see in here all the different options that's been configured on this computer. At the top here, you have show all or hide all. Hide all, you can see you've got computer details and user details. And if you show them and browse down, you'll see any policies that have been configured on this particular computer. And you can see that on yours as well. So let's get rid of this to start. Alrighty, first thing I wanted to mention is when you run this command, there are three different occasions where you may get an error and that error is invalid pointer. There's three reasons for that particular error to occur on your computer. First one is that there are no group policies being applied and the group policy file doesn't even exist. So to get around that, all you have to do is just go GP update slash force. And even if there's no group policies configured in the group policy editor, this will create the necessary folders in order for you to run the report. The second reason for this particular issue is that the security policy may be corrupt. And in that case, you need to reset your security policy. So please do view my previous video, which is on how to reset that particular policy. And I'll link that up at the top in just a moment. The third reason is on computers that have been infected, especially DLLs become corrupted. But there is a way to reset all of your DLLs. DLLs are basically files that register all the different system components, and they're usually in the System32 subfolder of Windows. So to reset them, this is the command that you'd want to type. For percent %1 in, and then we put in the location, so Windows Directory System32 star.dll, and basically what it's going to do is every file in there that ends in .dll, it's going to re-register it silently, and that's what the percent one is, is basically recursing this command until all the DLLs have been registered. So let's hit enter on this computer. As you can see, it's going through the entire list of DLLs and it's registering each and every one of them. So if there's any issues with your system, this is a good step to do regardless because it will reset various problems. So let's just see this to completion. Bear in mind, that could have taken several minutes on your computer, depending on the speed of your computer, how many programs you have, so on and so forth. But once you've run this command, please, please, please reboot your computer. So we'll take care of that right now. We'll click on Start, Power, and Restart. Okay, the computer's been restarted and I'm signed back in. But let's have a look at these group policy files in a bit more detail. Open up File Explorer. Once File Explorer is opened, go into your C drive, Windows. Scroll down the list until you see System32. Under View at the top here, click on that and make sure Hidden Files is checked off so that you can see the folders that might be hidden in the system. Scroll down this list and you'll see there's a particular folder here named Group Policy. When you run the Group Policy Editor, this is the folder that it creates. When you open up this folder, there's two subfolders within this. One is the machine, and if you open up machine, you'll see there's a registry.pol or policy. Same thing under the user. 
if you have any user configurations or any user settings set in your group policy. So how do you run group policy? Click on start and type gpedit.msc. Here you'll see the group policy editor. On the left, you've got the computer configuration and the user configuration. And as I mentioned before, there is a registry.pol file under machine, so there are settings in the computer configuration. As we can see right there, registry.pol, but there's nothing under user. So if we come into user here, and let's just make a change in something in here. So go into, into Windows. There's to say calculator, allow the graphing calculator, we'll disable that just as an example. There's so many settings in here that you can change. If you have a look under the user folder now, there's a registry.pol file, which contains those particular settings. So when you boot up your computer, the registry.pol file from both of these folders is loaded up and that becomes part of your system. So if this is corrupt, you can delete these folders. So how do you delete the folder? Again, click on start and type command. When you see command prompt, right click, run as administrator. And the particular commands that you wanna type, there's, there's two of them. There are two folders that are generally in place. In mine, there's only one because I've reset everything. Hit enter there. So one is the group policy users and one is just the folder group policy. If I remove these folders with these commands, so rd space forward slash s space forward slash q and the name of the folder, it removes everything within those folders. Along with that is all your group policy settings. But bear in mind, they're still active because they're loaded in the registry. In order for this change to be complete, you have to do gp update forward slash and force. Then any of those settings will be removed because we have actually removed the folder. And if you reboot your computer, you're back to where you need to be. Now, here's something that a lot of people get confused about. They believe that if you delete the group policy, it's going to reset all your security issues. But it's not because even though if we open up the group policy again, so click on start and type gpedit.msc. Let's just expand this. Now, if you have a look in, in here, under your Windows settings, you have your security settings. If you make any changes in here, it doesn't write to a .pol file. It actually writes to the local security database, which is stored as, as default base.inf in the INF folder. So that's a totally separate thing. Even though the settings can be changed here, it's not part of the registry in terms of a policy file. So if you need to reset those because something's become corrupted there, refer again to my previous video on how to reset the local security policy. And I generally recommend if you're going to reset the group policy, reset the local security policy at the same time because then you'll get a complete reset of your system. And do remember to reboot your computer after these settings have been changed. A big thing as well is sometimes the settings can stop you from logging into your computer completely. All you need is to run Windows in a command prompt environment. So from startup, you can terminate the boot up process three times in a row, then that forces it into recovery mode, or you can have a Windows 10 USB drive and boot from it, go into the command prompt, and you can run the same commands to remove the group policy users, the group policy folder, and also reset the security policy settings. And that should get you back into your computer.